eighth historic landmark of ASABE is in recognition of the first successful combine harvester. American history books credit Cyrus McCormick with inventing the reaper. That's not the whole story as far as the residents of Climax, Michigan are concerned. In Climax, the story goes like this. Hiram Moore, one of the village's founders, did all of the work, and McCormick, by hook or by crook, took all the credit, wealth, and fame. Moore attempted to combine the reaper and the thresher at a time when neither of these machines had been perfected. Hiram's combine machine successfully combined cutting, separating, cleaning, and bagging all into one operation. Moore's first patent on the combine was issued in 1836. At the start, John Haskell, also a Michigan pioneer who shared in the patent rights, backed him financially. Before the machine was finally abandoned, Lucius Lyon, Michigan's first U.S. Senator, had invested considerable money in it. The people of Climax allege when Moore sent blueprints to a New York foundry, McCormick somehow always came up with a copy. In effect, he beat Moore to the patent office with Moore's own concepts for the Reaper parts. Hiram Moore didn't take it lying down. He started a lawsuit and the bitter legal fight cost McCormick some $40,000, a lot of money in 1840. When the machine worked, it was an eye-opener. It could handle 20 acres a day in very superior style and at one-third to one-fifth the cost. Moore's machine was pulled by a team of 20 horses and was exceedingly bulky. Its bull wheel was 10 feet high and it took a high degree of maneuvering to get the combine turned around. When the machines are driven with an ordinary degree of care, Senator Lyon wrote, every grain of wheat is saved. The machines will work on any ground that is free from large stones and stumps and may be operated by any man of common sense after two days experience. An MH combine was shipped round the Cape Horn in 1853 for the 1854 harvest in California. It harvested 600 acres, then burned in a field from an overheated bearing. But Moore's machine furnished valuable experimental data upon which other inventors later built commercially successful machines. This 1931 event recognized the development with a plaque not part of ASAE's historic commemoration. The plaque is located at the site of the first use of the combine about one half mile north of Climax. This ASAE plaque from 1978 is located in Farrell Hall, Michigan State University, East Lansing. This recognizes a significant contribution to American agriculture.